Hello and welcome to a DJ School UK tutorial. This is part two of our Serato DJ Lite How to DJ at Home completely for free for practice, preparation or to get started as a DJ. Now we're not going to claim you're going to be a superstar DJ after this tutorial. This is just to get you going. Um, hopefully you've already got Serato DJ Lite installed and know how to drag and drop songs and load, find your files, find your songs. Uh, what we're going to do today is actually talk about beat matching. So I'm going to drag this song up to deck two and I'm going to get it playing. I apologize for the sound quality. I'm only on my laptop speaker so you can hear me while I'm doing a screen record. I'm listening to this song and I'm going to start counting in fours. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now hopefully you can hear that my counting works in time to the song because the song is built in a structure of four four beats to each bar and I'm counting the bars and the beats by counting in that manner. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now what that means is if I've got another song with the same structure and I know it's going to start from the first beat of a bar, I can count it in and play it in time by counting in and starting it when I reach a one. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, go. Sounds nice. So then I fade over. Fading out the song on the right hand side. So we're left with only the song on the left hand side playing. If you do this, with respect to the structure of the song, so that as you finish your fade something happens here and you're not cutting off anything here, then you're definitely going to be sounding better as a DJ. If your songs don't quite sound right when you're beat matching them, when you're trying to mix them together, match the tempos here, so these are the same numbers, and if they still don't sound right, it might be that you counted in slightly too quickly or slightly too slowly, in which case you need to just nudge, which is a temporary change in speed, which you can use these plus and minus for on each side, or T and Y on your keyboard for the left hand side, G and H on your keyboard for the right hand side. I hope that helps, I hope you get experimental at home, uh, and I hope that you come ready to try real DJing on some hardware where you get control of scratching and effects and all the other extra bits. Thanks for listening.